is Yvonne Taylor, and I'm from Africa Imports. And today we're going to be talking about the cultures and the people of Africa. The Hogan are a cliff-dwelling people who live in southeastern Mali and Burkina Faso. Among the people groups in Africa, they are unique in that they have kept and continued to develop their own culture. Even in the midst of Islamic invasions, they have conquered and adapted many of the current people groups. Dogon artwork is well known for its masks, which is used in various ceremonies and rituals. The masks are known as Inima and are believed to contain the life force that is known as Nayama. There are over 65 different kinds of masks used for ceremonies. Also famous is the Dogon woodwork, which is known for the different primitive look that has disappeared from many African pieces. The Dogon use mainly red, black, and white colors, as well as many varieties of browns developed from the reddish sand-like dirt which surrounds the country. Dogon artwork is all intricately hand-carved and has much cultural significance. Until the 1930s, the Dogon were very insulated from the outside world and resisted any foreign influence. Through oral tradition, it is said that they originated from the west bank of the Niger River around 1490 AD. They were fleeing from the Mosi people and entered the Bandiagara Cliffs region. There they lived ever since. Because their, their refuge in the cliffs, they were able to resist the Muslims, the French, and others who have attempted to conquer them. The Dogon are divided into family groups that are responsible for different spheres of Dogon life. The Awa society is responsible for much of the spiritual functions of Dogon culture concerning death and mourning periods. They communicate with the ancestor spirits. The Levi are the group responsible for the agricultural spirits. They build many different altars out of dirt and clay. For more information about the Dogon people and other great ideas, please visit Africa Imports online or call us today.